Welcome to the Skahoy NAB 2018 booth. We are so happy to have you. If you didn't come to the show, this is your chance to see what we have on display. And we are really proud to bring out 20 plus either new or repackaged products this year. Having new technology involved like four-way buttons, uh, LED uh, backlight in all the buttons. Well, we have had that before, but now we have it consistently in all the units. And we have a higher density of controls, more displays to make the controllers really universal, and that's so exciting. So, just uh, if, if we take a quick tour of the booth, we have the rack units over here. So the rack Fusion One has uh, a lot of buttons, then some more buttons. We have some encoders. They have a cool LED backlight that will help you to identify function really quickly. But of course, we have the OLED displays that gives you all the details of the settings you are working with. So for instance, here we have, um, uh, we, we are adjusting iris of a camera and it will tell you the percentages, but you also have a little progress bar. But that's a different thing with the shutter speed over here. So this is something you will know from our RCP products. And uh, so it's kind of just um, the same thing that you will find on all these controllers. And if you know a little bit about what we do, you know this is how we roll. We give you many different form factors. They can all do the same thing. So you just pick the form factor that works best for you and you can be sure that any device core you can install on it with uh, the Unisketch system will help you solve your problem. Now, oh, uh, one of the really new things, this hasn't been seen before, this is the quick bar. So it's a really cool little auxiliary panel. And here you see how the, um, the, the, the four-way buttons work really nicely. So we have a, like a shift toggle function here. And then I can page through by hitting the edges. So really, if you look at that little progress indicator, you can see as I press the edges of the buttons, it is paging forth and back. And if I hit the upper edge of the button, then you see I get access to recall of um, uh, basically, this is uh, controlling a video router, so it will recall the routes that we use on the booth this year. We have the Microfly, which also have the four-way buttons, a nice um, uh, metering uh, bar here. We have rack units, one unit, two unit, rack fly uno and duo. We have the inline 10, which is a surprisingly useful panel having the um, up here we have the encoder buttons again look how nicely these have backlit encoders that's so useful to identify function of, of these encoders uh, and uh, then in this case a camera selector so really this is a small RCP panel that's kind of a fun uh, and and really useful if, if all you need is not a big panel but just like a small one so um, yeah that really blows people minds when it, they realize how you can control you know, combine all this function into the many different form factors. So we have the C25, we have the RCP Mini. These are the old designs or the current designs that you, are, you have known for ages. But what is so awesome is to bring out the RCP this year. And you see we have the joystick, we have the motorized faders. So really these two units, they, um, they do the same, but we have the uh, motorized fader option right here, which makes it really useful if you wanna control multiple cameras. So for instance, let me just bring up camera two. So you can see now I can set the iris of camera two, but then I hold down the shift key and I go to camera number one. Now look what happens with the motorized fader. It goes between, forth and back between those values um, of iris. Over here we have uh, the color fly, which is, happens to be hooked up with the same items which are driving the whole thing. So uh, as I am now controlling you see camera one, I have the fader following over here because it's connected to the same system that um, controls the iris of the camera. That's really awesome. Uh, if I go to camera three on the RCP, then you see now I'm controlling this. And if I do it over here, it's reflected there. And even if I use this joystick, you see that I'm using this motorized fader. So that's the RCP product. Over here we have the Airfly. So the Airfly is our budget option for controlling ATEM switches. $13.99 and this is yours. So we have program preview and cut auto, all the things that you need to do item control. I'm not gonna go into details because we have videos online that will do that for you. Then we have the mini fly right here. The mini fly is our super compact and so awesome useful controller. Over here we have the Breck Fusion Live, which uh, is a fusion between a PDC controller and a switcher surface. We have put down the uh, NKK option on this one. So um, NKK is a company in Japan and they make the... Sorry, we have an announcement. So now we will have visitors in a few moments. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Okay, so back to what I'm doing, um, giving you this introduction. Okay, so we had NKK button options. So if you really like the feel of the old school broadcast style buttons, then you can have it, absolutely. We have over here all the PTC controllers, like the PTC Wiz, the PTC Fly, the PTC Pro. These actually control these cameras. And if I select camera number one on this controller, it just notice that I'm now operating this robotic camera over here. I'm also robotic. Uh, operating this camera so it's um, it's really super cool how these controllers often you can connect multiple controllers to the same camera which is useful if you want to do PTC control by by one operator and shading control by another one you can separate the concerns that's really awesome so on the other side of the table we have some of um, some of I, I, I wouldn't say more exotic but then maybe the professional surfaces in the sense that here we have the um, uh, Master Key 36. Here we have an example of the modularity. So uh, you know that last year we introduced modularity at NAB. So basically the idea that you can break this off and this is connected magnetically on the side. So you can connect these two again like this and the, the whole surface will boot up and connect to the master unit over here. We have other modular um, um, controllers over here which, uh, for instance, the Airfly Pro, which is the upgrade from the Airfly we saw just on the other side. And then, finally, what we have over here is um, one of the new things that we are launching that is the Waveboard, that is an audio controller with included VU metering for uh, anything that has audio parameters, essentially. So, uh, out of the box, that would be an ATEM switcher, which is one of the most um, uh, or classic devices that you'll find in our collection of device cores. So, um, guys, I gotta talk to some people coming to our booth now, but I was happy that I could uh, show you around and give you a quick tour now that you couldn't come and visit us, but hopefully maybe next year and uh, have fun with our product catalog and see you around.